Okay guys, so I need to make a correction here on the information about the SDR peak brightness. So as you guys know, I measured game mode to try to see what the peak brightness was and I even tried dynamic to see if anything would change and well, the results were basically exactly the same. So here I am in the UHD benchmarking disc from Spears and Munsell. I'm in Windows, peak versus size, and the results are dramatically different in movie mode. Movie mode is where you're going to get the delicious peak brightness that you've come to expect. So on a 2% window stimulus, here we are at 1487. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see that better. Unbelievable stuff here. I mean, just look at that. That is a massive, massive, massive increase in performance over what we had before. And so I am very pleased on that. And I'm gonna do this again, just in real time so you guys can see it. No closed door tests. I'm just gonna, again, everything's open, everything's transparent so you guys can see it. I'm on my Xbox One X. I'm using that as the Blu-ray player. And I'm going on the Spears and Munsell UHD benchmarking test. Again, Windows peak versus size. Now I'm on a 10% Windows stimulus. And we're just letting that ramp up and down. As you guys see, it was at 1599 on a peak and it falls now to 1581 and falling. But that's a pretty darn good peak luminance over the 700s that we were looking at in game mode. So that is a massive, massive difference. So there, yeah. And for anybody wondering, this is kind of why I prefer to use game or modes outside of game mode because the programming and performance is just different sometimes. So now we're gonna go over into a 25% window stimulus. And then a 25% window stimulus, 1620 was the peak, and it's falling now, we're in 1604, and it's just gonna to continue to fall off, but the peak is 16 over 1600 nits. So that's incredible stuff there as well. And again, this is for 25% window stimulus, so we're going to go back now. We're going to pull up the one, uh, the 50% window stimulus. We've got that up, measuring and counting. I'm going to lower it down so you can see it a little better. And we're getting 1,220 something odd what nits. That, that is not bad, people. That is not bad at all. So what I'm gonna to try to do, I'm gonna to try to go back to a previous window, and then we're gonna go forward to try to get that peak again. And it's still, it's pretty sure about that 1200 net mark, 1222, 1221, right? And I believe that's the 50% window stimulus. So then we're going to go to a 100% window stimulus and that's 731 nits. So yeah, this TV is incredibly bright. I'm not crazy. I just was seeing different things in game mode. So there you have it. Sometimes these results can be tricky. It can be inconsistent sometimes. So I just wanted to go ahead and kind of correct that. Not that it's misinformation, just that game mode is performing very differently from all of the other modes, at least as far as my testing, what I've seen so far. So I just wanted to put that information out there. Um, and we can also try dynamic mode the what's revered as the official torch mode but if it if it's anything like the hdr performance it's going to be dramatically different so everything's set to high dynamic uh dynamic contrast is high which is the contrast enhancer and the uh local dimming is set to high and we're in the coolest color temperature right everything is set up to make this tv basically torch mode but as you guys are seeing our numbers are lower so that, well, that's for 100% window stimulus. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back now. I'm trying to be as thorough as possible to give you guys all of the right information you're looking for here, right? Okay, so we're, we're on a 2% window stimulus. And the peak for that is coming in at 700-ish nits right there. That is way lower than well over the 900 we were getting before with movie mode. So as you guys are seeing... With, with different modes, you are getting different levels of performance, right? And that's what I was talking about. The TV does perform differently depending on the mode. And I don't know why that is. I, I mean, I kind of have an idea. I'm pretty sure it's the dimming capabilities kind of kicking in of the mini LED being programmed to do different stuff. Now we're on a 2% window stimulus, or rather a 5% window stimulus. And we're at 1300 nits. 
So again, it's not the 1600 that we were seeing before. So you're, you're really going to get the most brightness out of your movie mode performance. And again, that's typical with Samsung TVs. That's just how their TVs work, right? So I'm going to go back here. And I want to kind of be as thorough as I can. 10% window stimulus now. On a 10% window stimulus, 1400 was the peak. Now we're up 1600 nits. So now we're finally getting back into that 1600 nit territory. Lower 1600 nits, but you can get 1600 nits out of dynamic mode with everything in the coolest color temperature and so on and so forth. So now we're going to go back again. And we're going to try to get hopefully better performance once we get to the 25% window stimulus because those are usually really good window stimuluses for Samsung. So now in a 25% window stimulus, we're at 1645, slightly higher than the last window we were on. Again, this is dynamic mode. But again, it's not as high as it could possibly be. And so then we're going to go to our next window stimulus mode, which is the 50% window stimulus mode. And kind of like a little cheat to go a little faster for anybody wondering, you can just press the arrow buttons or the D-pad left or right to, to skip to the next window stimulus. I don't do that because I want to make sure that I'm skipping over the ones I don't want, and I don't feel like having to guess if I've skipped it the right way, but if you wanted to do every window stimulus, you could. Now, this is the 50% window stimulus at 1,100 nits. There you see it right there. And then we are going to go, I'm going to show you, we're going to go, this is going to be a 75% window stimulus, and this is going to be the 100% window stimulus that we are looking for. And for the 100% window stimulus, again, we're at 737 and it appears to be holding and falling, so it's pretty consistent. I'll just call it at 700 nits, 730-ish nits. So that's dynamic mode, and then we're going to go back into movie mode. And in movie mode, we are getting 758 was the peak, and it fell to 730 or 729 now. So again, that's kind of what you can expect for the most part. They're about the same nit-wise, but there are some differences as you see. And I really, I suspect that the local dimming has a lot to do with it. It's pretty aggressive at this stage. Um, but I just kind of wanted to correct that information on the SDR part. That was gaming mode, and for whatever reason, gaming mode is very different. Now, I don't know if a firmware will fix that, but right now, my current firmware that I'm on, which is still glitchy, as you'll see once I enter the menu, I still have that number four that is stuck there. Probably should update it, but I kind of refuse because I don't submit to terms of service when they just randomly decide to add that in there. I really feel a type of way about that. Now, again, if this is you, your TV, do what you want. But for me, I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, update. And I'm at 1052 right now. That's my current firmware. As you guys see, my little four is still stuck there. And for those wondering, I have done factory reset. I went into the uh, secret menu, the manufacturer's menu, and basically did a reset through that service menu. Didn't work. Um, unplug, replug, every power set reset option you can see. And I'll even power it off right now so you guys can see I'm not lying about even just turning it off and turning it back on to see if that number four will go away. It's turned off. We're going to turn the TV back on again. Okay, so it starts back up. And there it is. It's still stuck there. So literally, it, it just won't go away. That's what's making me think a software update will fix this, this glitch. But it's pretty damn resilient. So that's one of the bad things about this TV. It's not always going to be positive. I know some people might hear my information, feel like it's overly negative, And maybe, therefore, I can't be trusted because there's a secret agenda. There's no agenda here. I'm just reviewing the TV in front of me. So I'm sorry if you feel a type of way already about my review. Uh, you can wait for Artings, Digital Trends, and HDTV Test to put out their information, FOMO, where they're all just going to tell you how wonderful everything is. I'm covering the real stuff here, so that's the difference between us. I'm not here to market anything. I don't care if you buy from affiliate links or not. I'm literally just telling you as it is. Now, one thing I do think is cool, I don't know if you'll be able to see it so well, you have the Xbox One logo there. That's really, really cool to me. So that's one of those nice little neat gems that still kind of exists with Samsung from their pr prior sponsor with, uh, uh, what, what is it, their prior sponsorship with Samsung. So that's really cool. Microsoft and, uh, uh, what is it, Microsoft and Samsung. I'm all mixed up in these companies. But you guys have the uh, official numbers here. So 
there they are now it's back up to a peak of 771 so yeah pretty nice stuff there and now it falls to 729 so it goes up and down on a variable level all right guys thank you so much for watching the number one brand in honesty until the next video i'll see you guys later